Welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial everyone. In this video we're returning to Halo Jump with an effect that works in both HitFilm Pro and Express. When we shot Halo Jump we knew that we didn't have enough actors or uniforms to fill up the plane, so we used visual effects to duplicate our six actors onto either side of the scene. I'll show you how to do that now, plus how to add realistic camera shake onto a locked off shot. Here we have our two video layers in the timeline. One of them is for the soldier standing on the left and the other on the right. On this one you can actually spot the red light that we used for the scene, but it won't be visible in the final shot, so it doesn't matter that it's there. The important thing with this shot is that the camera was locked off and did not move between takes. Lower the opacity of the top layer. Now we can see both at the same time. It looks like the soldiers on the right don't really go past this point here. That's where we're going to draw the mask. Select the freehand mask tool and click the top layer. Draw your shape around this piece of footage to separate a section of it. If I turn off the right layer, you can see the effect of the mask on the left. Play back your footage and check for any mistakes in the mask. If our lead character wasn't in the middle of the frame, we'd be done. His arm currently gets cut off, so we have to correct that. On the same layer, I'll disable the isolation mask real quick to see it in full. We'll draw another mask on his arm here. In the transform properties, activate keyframes for the path. We'll go almost frame by frame and align the mask with his arm appropriately. You can use the comma and period keys on your keyboard to move backwards and forwards. You don't have to go through the whole scene, just the moment when his arm crosses the boundary. Once you're done with that, feather the mask a little to blend it in better. Here is the top layer by itself, to give you an idea of what exactly is going on. We've added a piece of footage onto the initial cutout to preserve his arm. The next step is to add camera shake. Both Pro and Express do have the shake effect, but it is possible to use the camera shake from real world footage. We have done a tutorial on this in the past. Check that out if you'd like to watch a full detailed video from Josh. The first step is to film something. It can be a picture on your wall, it can be your computer screen, it doesn't really matter. As long as there are trackable features and it shakes. For this, I filmed a poster on my wall. After importing this footage and bringing it into my timeline, I'll motion track the whole scene, then apply the data to a point layer. This is covered in Josh's tutorial, but we also have a dedicated motion tracking video by Axel if you have any more confusion. Once the tracking data has been applied to the point, you can delete the source video. Select both layers of the halo jump and parent them to the shaking point. Once the footage is shaking, it will likely not reach the ends of the screen all the time. In the point layer's transform properties, increase the scale until the edges of the video reach the edge of the canvas. If you're having trouble seeing the edges, you can change the background color to something bright to help with the visibility. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this simple technique. We've got a couple more Halo Jump videos coming out very soon, so subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified as soon as they come out. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you all in the next video.